Now this. This is interesting. Hello fellow space engineers. This is part of the continuous testing of torpedoes that I'm making. The segment that you just saw was the penetration made by this um, kinetic armor piercing torpedo made with one of the hardest blocks in the game, which is the blast door block. While testing I discovered that it is essential to achieve the penetration that you actually dipped it with a pointy edge. I tried to fit these torpedoes with a gyroscope, uh, replacing the tip with a gyroscope, but that kind of like gave it like a cushion when it impacted the armor, bouncing the torpedo off the armor. So that's why I decided to go with this three block design with the pointy edge at the very tip. What we have as a target is this kind of like representation of a super armor ship. As you can see it has two layers of heavy armor, one layer of of um, light armor and two interior blocks. And then we have like the basics here, gyroscopes, growth generator, cargo, beacon, engines, reactor etc. So I know this is not realistic for a survival scenario in which you will rarely see a ship this armor but I wanted to test the penetration of each type of torpedo and what I discovered is that an explosive warhead does nothing to this as I will show you in a moment. Well, as you can see, the results vary. Sometimes they go through, sometimes they just embed. Sometimes they even bounce off. At some point, uh, one of the tips break off. Uh, in this case, I think only one of them broke. And as you can see in here, this is the damage caused by the explosive warhead. So, right now, the explosion of a single warhead has like this shockwave effect. So it doesn't matter if you have heavy armor on the outside. An explosive warhead is going to penetrate and do damage to the interior, and it would leave the exterior almost untouched. 
I don't know if it's uh, an in-game mechanic, trying to like represent shockwave damage, which is fine with me, or if it's just that they haven't calculated the penetrating power of a warhead. Oh, oh, that's a development. Well, right now, as it is, the only real application of these torpedoes is basically to mess up with the control of the ship that you're targeting. And as you can see, they're not very accurate since they don't have any gyroscopes on it. Well, that's the opposite that we can say about the explosive, the high explosive torpedo. Since they do have the gyroscopes on them, let's say they fly straight towards the target. Well, as I was saying, um, I don't know if it is that the game developers have not calculated the actual penetration of the explosion, like making this uh, huge sphere of damage, and the sphere just damages uh, the blocks that it encompasses, or if it's they actually wanted to make this like shockwave effect damage. Well, as you can see, that big damage square there is basically the area in which the four explosive warheads impacted. I think I'm more early in towards uh, the theory that they actually haven't calculated the penetration yet. I understand that, well, should be kind of hard to calculate like the individual penetration value for each block relative to the explosion and the contact point and all that, so it's fine. So right now, I would say the heavy armor is not useful against warhead type of torpedoes. It is useful though if you wanna repel single like kinetic torpedoes like this one. I mean as far as as far as they go they just kinda like penetrate two or three blocks. It is super useful against Gatling gun damage and is also somewhat useful against uh, rockets from small and large ships. Well, I would say it's actually useful against that. Okay, I will keep posting videos with further testing. Take care.